Hi everyone, my name is Carlene and I work in the product department here at SignalWire. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with making voice and video calls in your web browser using the new SignalWire JavaScript library. Before we get started, be sure to create your SignalWire account. You can do that by heading on over to SignalWire.com and clicking sign up. Once you have signed up and confirmed via your email, you can log into your account. To get started, we have to create a new project. If you already have a project created, you can skip this step. Since I already have a project I'm currently working on, I'll just click on this arrow over here to create a new project. Let's give this project a name and click Save. I want to be able to call my web client from the public phone network and also be able to call out to other phones from the web client. So let's buy a phone number. To do this, just head to the phone numbers menu and click get a phone number. Once you have found a phone number you'd like to purchase, just click buy. Once we have added a number to our project, we have to create the endpoint we want to associate with this phone number. For that, we will use a third party tool to assist in the creation of our JSON web token for the necessary authentication. The first step to using the SDK is to set up authentication. Let's head to our developer documentation for more information. The JavaScript SDK is unique in that everything runs within the browser on the client side, which means in order to safely use your project and token for authentication, we will have to do something a bit different. The SignalWire JavaScript SDK uses JSON web tokens to authenticate with SignalWire and apply fine grained permissions to the end user. Since we will be needing our project ID and an API token for authentication, let's head back to our SignalWire dashboard and create a new token. Just head to the API menu and click create a token. To get the JWT for our project, we need to send a POST request to the JWT endpoint on the Relay REST API. We will be using Postman, a third-party tool, to help us accomplish this. The first step is to create a new environment. To do this, click the gear icon at the right corner and hit Add. Let's give our environment a name. We will be needing a few things from our SignalWire project in order to make this work. Let's go back to our SignalWire dashboard to grab our domain project ID and project token. Now that we have created a new environment, we have to edit this to reflect the new environment. Then we need a new collection. Let's give our collection a name and hit create. Now that we have created a new collection, we can start formulating a request. Start a new post request and enter the request URL. Under authorization, change to basic authentication and use your project and token as your username and password. Under headers, Let's change the content type to be JSON. Now we can head to the body and assign a timeout to something where we're not having to request a new JWT every five minutes. Once you have that filled out, you can hit send. You should receive a JWT token much like this. Let's save this to our collection for future use. Give it a name and save. Let's do this process for a second resource.
Now that we've created both our resources, we can head to the SignalWire call demo. In here, we can enter our project and token. Then connect the client. Once we have verified that we can connect to the SignalWire network, we can open the same demonstration in an alternate browser. I'll be using one in Chrome and the other in Safari. Since we can't use the same credentials for both pages, we will have to use the JWT token for the second resource we created, which in my case is test two. We'll use the same project ID and paste the token of the second resource. Now that we've connected both the clients, we can test a call. As you can see, it works. Now, let's try associating the phone number that we purchased earlier with the web client we just created. We have to go back to the dashboard under the phone numbers menu and select the phone number we created. Edit the voice and fax settings section to handle calls using a Virto client. Add the name that we used when we were creating the JWT token and hit save. Let's see if we can call this web client from my phone. Let's head back to the demo page and make a call from my phone. As you can see, we're receiving a call on the client and now the call is connected. Let's try it the other way. I'm going to call my cell phone from the demo page. As you can hear, I'm receiving a call, and now the calls have been connected. Well, there you have it, a complete demonstration on how to use the SignalWire JavaScript SDK and accompanying web demo page to test voice and video calls on the SignalWire network. If you have any questions, please drop them in the SignalWire community Slack channel. We are always happy to help.